reason we trim is so we can supply our customers with a reliable energy source. We trim our feeders for safety, for reliability, and also as part of our routine maintenance, we can follow up and check and look at other equipment, uh, the transformers, and actually the service wires even to the house. We inspect to make sure that there aren't any safety problems. We have 1,800 feeders and we trim by circuit, which is a feeder. And out of that group, you know, we try to trim about 2,100 to 2,500 miles a year. So we have about a six year cycle we try to maintain. So if we haven't been in the area in about six years or so, it's probably gonna be up on this year's plan. But we do shuffle our feeders around based on reliability issues. If we're having trouble with a feeder, we'll trim it sooner. If the feeder is lasting a little longer, we'll do it a little bit later. But ideally, we try to get to every feeder in six years. The whole forestry process actually starts once we decide we're gonna trim a feeder. And once we know we're gonna trim a feeder, we notify all the customers on that feeder and they will get a letter in the mail. And that letter will come at least two weeks before the crews start to show up. So the letter just makes the customer aware that we're gonna be in a neighborhood. And it also lets them know, even if we're not working in their yard, it may explain why they see all the orange aspen trucks in the area. What we will do is we'll leave a door hanger, usually on the front door, and that will have information as to who is doing the permitting and it'll have his phone number. So if our customers have any questions, they got a direct contact to the person who's lining up the work. Once the work has been permitted, there can be a little bit of a lag of maybe three or four weeks after it's permitted. That's when you'll start to see the crews come through. And when the crews come through, they're instructed, the first thing they would do is they would knock on the door, talk to the customer, explain uh, what they're there to do and about how long they're gonna take. Uh, the other reason that's helpful is that some people may need to get out of their driveways or may have to go in and out, so we don't want to inconvenience our customers at all. And it also gives them a little review of what we're gonna be accomplishing. Then the crew does their work. The primary wire will have the greatest clearance. That'll have six to 10 feet. The service wire that feeds the house will have less clearance because that's a lower voltage. But you still may see branches touching wires. And if you do, uh, those will be the communication lines. That'll be the phone or cable TV running into the house. The vegetation management for those wires needs to be done by the communication companies. Uh, we don't trim for communication lines, just the energized lines. The safety component behind why we're cutting this tree down is that it is a spruce tree that is too close to our primary wires and most of our evergreens we consider climbable. It may be very rare that a child would climb up there or anybody climb up there, but that tree is just too close to our primary wires. So the customer has allowed us to remove that tree at this time. So we're gonna cut that whole tree down and get it out of the way. And it also will improve the reliability for this neighborhood because the evergreen trees, branches tend to get full of snow and ice and they can fall down on the primary and that may cause an outage. The relationship that We Energies has with Asplund is they are our vegetation management contractor and we have worked together in the past actually for about 50 years. Asplin has given us the best value for our dollar so we've exclusively used Asplin Tree Service for our properties. Mm -hmm.